Good morning. Today we're here to introduce you guys to our conservation project for Rhinopithecus roxamata, also known as the Golden Snubnose Monkey. I'm Victor Urena. Oh, my name is Jesus Bocanegra. I'm Marilyn Palacios. There we go. Allow me to introduce you to the Golden Snubnose Monkey. The Golden Snubnose Monkeys are found in temperate mountain forest regions of central China, specifically in the western parts of the Sichuan province and the Gansu province. Um, some facts about the golden snub-nosed monkeys are that they are diurnal herbivores. Um, their diets consist of lichens, leaves, seeds, and insects. Uh, diets vary with the seasons, during winter months, uh, lichens and the wood from dead trees become their primary food source. The golden snub-nosed monkeys are organized in large social structures consisting of lots of smaller ones. They can have up to 600 in the group. Uh, their basic social groups are multi-female, uh, one male, and all male unit. A multi-female one male unit can have an average of 9 through 18 monkeys in their group. Males are forced to leave the OMU group they were born into at 3 years old by their father. The golden stump nosed monkeys have a polygynous mating system. Females avoid mating competition by having different conception times. Females usually initiate copulation. In the wild, Reduction is time, so they are born into favorable conditions. Copulation usually lasts 16 seconds. Females try to disrupt other females' matings by yelling and contacting the pair prior and during copulation. Their estrous cycle lasts 27 through 29 days, and they have about a six month gestation. The video clips were recorded by Massey University in New Zealand. Here we see one of the members of Rhinopithecus roxolana up in its natural environment. These species are important to keep because they are incredibly adorable, but on a more serious note, their extinction would trigger the loss of other species in the future and overall set an imbalance in their respective ecosystem. They are also very unique, as one can see they have gold coats and bluish faces that are rare to come across. So many of China's wildlife is endangered. Hence, it is crucial for humans to try and protect in this case the golden snub-nosed monkeys that humans are directly responsible for endangering. It is important to recognize that the snow nosed monkey are endangered and why they are Lost, lost majority of the population in the last 400 years, only 8 to 10,000 left in the wild. They have lost most of the population due to human expansion. Their habitat is under attack. Commercial logging is destroying the trees that they live in and also feeding on. Even clearing dead trees on their diet. There is even deforestation from locals for pastoralism and for firewood. Their distribution is being limited to small and fragmented areas. For hunting, locals sometimes hunt them for food. They are also hunted for fur. Sometimes they are also killed by snares from people hunting deer. The golden snub nosed monkeys' food in the wild is being polluted by China's manufacturing industry. The emissions from these manufacturing plants are poisoning their food.
Researchers are finding toxic metal pollutants in their fecal matter. The current conservation plans are that the Chinese government set up several wildlife reserves and several breeding centers have been set up throughout China. Lots of species have been moved to reserves like the Changxi Wild Animal Rescue and the Hangzhou Zoo. The Chinese government has also enacted protective laws, including laws that prevent construction in the wildlife reserve. One of the proposed laws is making it illegal to kill and eat these endangered monkeys and the Convention of International Trade prohibits trade of the snub-nosed monkey. Current captive breeding programs are not ideal for golden snub-nosed monkeys. Their diets are different when they are in captivity. The food they are being fed tends to have higher starch and less fiber. This is creating a higher risk of obesity, diabetes, and heart attack. Not to mention they are still being hunted by the locals despite the laws against it. So what our conservation plan is to work with the Chinese government to create a ranger system that will regularly patrol the reserves and wild habitats of the golden snub-nosed monkey. It will crack down on those who illegally chop down trees and will enforce strict laws against the hunters and poachers that are in these areas. They will also help to educate locals on the importance of preserving habitats and informing them of the laws against hunting. We will work with the captive breeding centers to make sure that they start having better food options that are more similar to the golden snub-nosed monkey's natural diets. We will increase the funding so that we make sure they can afford the proper food. We will also set up an organization, an organization whose primary goal is to re-establish their natural territories. The effort will be around reforestation. The goal will be to replant as many trees that are indigenous to the Sichuan and Gansu provinces as possible. The goal will be to re-establish migratory routes to allow the golden snub-nosed monkey to expand their range and therefore expand their populations. It will help make more food available and more homes available for them. We'll first begin by with reforesting forest these highlighted areas in the Zuzi Natural Reserve that were destroyed by commercial logging. This is a long-term goal as trees cannot grow overnight. Our hopes are that within a few decades, we can reserve the damages caused by foolish humans. Combining the efforts from the current captive breeding programs, the stricter new laws, and enforcement and education, hopefully will bring these populations of the golden sun those monkeys so that they can thrive for centuries to come. <laughs>